It was as simple as this. At school, he was my Wednesday guy. Let me explain. You know that crappy midweek crisis where you think it's Friday? And the daunting truth hits you. It's Wednesday, the middle of the week. Wednesday, the day you've lost your weekend glow. The chirpy, energetic, sweet smiles, all gone. Well, not completely. Wednesday, the day you wear your hair up in a high ponytail because you woke up a little too late to wash it. Wednesday, the day you're wedged in between a breakthrough and a breakdown. Either way, Wednesday was never usually pleasant or memorable. But he saw me through the haze of my crabby Wednesday attitude and was there for every boring conversation, concentrated silence, and first world problem. And just with these little things, he made the Wednesdays memorable. Jamie, something about his smile got me through a really slow Wednesday. He encouraged me to be myself. And because he loved me for who I was, he became my everyday guy. So do you see that line here? Mm-hmm. That's called your timeline. Right. And this one here that crosses over, Yeah. that's your kissing line. So when your timeline and your kissing line cross, mm -hmm. that means that tells you when you're going to get a kiss. Right. But then how do you know? You kind of just know. <laughs> Right. Jamie! Oh. Sorry. What was that? <laughs> there was... There was a spider. I'm so sorry. Did you get it though? Yeah, Did you get yeah, it? Yeah, it, it's off. Okay, did you kill some brain cells too? We grew together, dreamed together, and finally it hit me. He is my soulmate if you believe in that kind of thing. Mm. Wake up. I got your tea. Oh my gosh, what is this all about? Well, you have to sit up. All right. Because I have something to show you. What? Wait, just wait a sec. What is so important that you woke me up from my nap, hmm? I just wanted to hear your voice, that's why I woke you up. Okay. <laughs> Do you remember how we said that we always wanted to go see the sakuras mm -hmm. in Japan? In Japan. We should go to Japan. All you have to do is click this button and we're going to Japan. Really? Mm. For real? But you have to press the button. <sighs> right. It's right there. I've always had a dream to be a singer-songwriter, and he was my biggest fan. I never had to choose between love and career because Jamie became a part of all my dreams and all my plans. No, it's not ready. <laughs> no, sis, get drum roll, please. All right. What are we drum rolling for? Picture yeah. mm -hmm. Picture this. Okay. Ready? Madison Square Garden. Introducing Jen! Woo! From Chris <laughs> Wild. And then. You're famous. No. For your passion that is. Sure, they would love you. You? I mean, me? <laughs> yes, you. Nah. You. They would yeah, love you're me. gonna fall in love with your song. No. Trust me. No. I'm scared. My mom once told me that you'll know they're your soulmate when time and time again they pass the traffic light test. <laughs> you know the traffic light test. You're in the car and he's dropping you home and you're wishing every traffic light were red so you can spend time together just a little bit longer. Who are you listening to? 
Uh, Shades of Green did a cover Barbie Girl. Yeah? Right. Trust me. You know, I'm not really digging. Trust me. Yeah. Trust me. <laughs> It was never fully perfect. Sometimes I can be so stubborn. Sometimes the jokes became the very thing that ticked me off. Sometimes the screaming matches were almost unbearable. So why'd you freak out? He was just complimenting you. Let's just drop it. I don't want to think about how I embarrassed myself. You've you got to be more confident in your work, Jen. You're so talented. I'll figure it out. Just stop talking. Um, if, you're, if you're not going to talk, then we may as well listen to something. I don't want to listen to anything. Or anyone. Yes, everyone. Especially you. Sorry for caring. Just shut up, please. You're so frustrating sometimes. Yeah, well, you Jamie! <laughs> but I would never trade my Wednesday guy, my soulmate, my Jamie, for anything. It was as if everything changed, but nothing's changed. I still have Wednesdays when I think it's Friday. I still have midweek crises, but now I'm by myself in the middle of the road. I wish we didn't have that stupid fight. I would trade everything to be in that fight again. So I could take in every detail about him. So I could hear his voice one more time. I dream about the fight every night. I pushed everything away for so long, I, I barely remember what started it. At what point do you realize you're dreaming? Some point, mid-fight, it starts to hit me. It's Jamie. And then I get a couple of seconds before I wake up. When we first started our session, you mentioned you want to write again? Yeah, well, I haven't written anything since... I don't know. Perhaps take small steps. Have you tried emotional journaling? If you're interested, I run a group called Soul Writers. Maybe it will help you write songs again. Okay. Loving is short, forgetting is long. I found my soulmate on a Wednesday. We made memories for seven years, 2,555 days, 365 Wednesdays. Every day since the day I lost him has been an empty, slow, aimless crawl towards the inevitable. Who am I without him? How do I follow my dreams on my own? So universe, my name is Jennifer. What marvelous wisdom do you have to offer me? Maybe we'll get longer next time.